Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part two of the speed build for Countryside Spa Retreat. In the first bar, we took care of the whole exterior of this build, and in this part, we're going to finish up the whole thing and do the interior of it. I started off with the entrance and reception area of the spa, and I wanted the entrance to have a very grand feeling to it, which is why I used two staircases, and also why I used one of those chandeliers that came with spa day between the two of them, as you may have seen in the very beginning of the video. As far as the layout on the first floor goes, straight in front of the doors going to the spa are the doors going into the locker rooms. So those are nicely centered in the middle of the building. And then to the left of the locker rooms when you're looking in from the front is what will be the gym room. And then on the right side there are a couple of massage rooms. One of them I thought of as a couple's massage room, so there's two tables in there. And the other one is a more private massage room that just has one table in it. Then the whole entrance room that kind of wraps around part of the building is just common area. Now I'll be getting on furnishing the whole reception area in here. So I was thinking of this as sort of a check-in desk, although you don't really have those for spas, so I just stuck a bunch of a few different types of spa decorations on it. So you have the drink tray in there and then also some of those, I think they're supposed to be massage oils as well as an incense burner, and then I also stuck some of the or the wall decoration that I think is supposed to be supplements or something along those lines. So I was thinking it was just a check-in area where they also sell some products. And I of course put that wall decoration with a spa logo on it just to, just to make it known that this is a spa. That's it for furnishing that room. And with the interior of the spa, I wanted to give it a very bright and peaceful and serene look. So I used a lot of light blues and greens throughout it, but as I was building it, I was thinking, oh, I probably shouldn't use blue so much because I tend to use blue a lot and I'm trying to cut back on it and be better about using other colors. But this is a spa after all, so I did of course want it to look serene. And to me, light blues and greens just do that really well. But with the next build that I do, I will try my best to limit the amount of blues and greens I use and try out some other colors. And I'm thinking the next build that I do will probably, or at least the next speed build that I do, will probably be a pub. I was planning on doing a Let's Build a Pub series after the Cafe Let's Build I was doing ended. But towards the end of the Cafe Let's Build, someone said that I should try doing a Let's Renovate series. And I thought that was a really good idea and that would be something cool to do. So I put up a poll in the last part of the Cafe Let's Build asking whether you all would rather see a Let's Renovate series or a Let's Build a Pub series. And at this point, the Let's Renovate series has a huge lead over the pub. So it looks like that's what I'm going to be doing. And I do plan on starting the next Let's Build next weekend. But since it looks like I'm going to be doing a Let's Renovate series, I did want to still do a pub as a speed build just because I really have been wanting to build a pub. A little bit more about the whole Let's Renovate thing is that the idea was to take one of the homes in Willow Creek and then update it with items that have come out since the base game released, which I think will be really fun. I'm really looking forward to starting. But getting back to this, I finished a little seating area that's right off the entrance there, although I'm going back and adding a few things. And right here in this hallway going around to the back, I just stuck in one of those spa day tables and just put a few decorations on top of it. And I did use a lot of the stuff that came with Spa Day throughout this build, so I do like the mix of modern and traditional that's in it. I think it works really well together. I also put a couple of fish tanks in that little nook right there. I thought that'd be a really good spot for some of those. Uh, also adding in some bamboo, of course, since this is a spa. I was going to stick that poster back there too, but I do end up getting rid of it because I just realized it was a bit too busy having that in there, so I thought it would look nicer having some wall lights on either side. I do put a lot of wall lights throughout this whole build, so it is pretty well lit. Although I did run into a lot of weirdness with the lighting because I used those glass doors, which just let light through in a really weird way. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that, but like for example, this area in the back here, which I put a lot of lights in, ends up being very dark once I furnished the gym and got all the lighting in there done. And I have no idea why, no matter how many more lights I add into that room, it was just still dark and weirdly lit. Um, so that was kind of annoying. I wasn't really sure what to do with this whole area first, so there's just some chairs in there and a chess table. At first I was going to have some couches and chairs facing the fish tanks, but it just ended up being way too cramped and I felt like there wasn't enough room to get around the chairs to go out the back door. 
Sims probably would have been able to navigate around it fine, but it just looked way too cramped. I figured it would be better just to leave it a little bit more open. But yeah, that's about it for that back area, I believe. So now I'm moving on to the locker rooms, which are pretty small, but I still do like how they turned out. Each of the locker rooms has a room with a toilet off of it, and then another room that has both a toilet and a shower. And then the sink is just right outside in that nook type area that's next to the doors going into those two smaller bathroom areas. It actually took me a bit to figure out what to do for the walls in here because I had that paneling in there at first but then I was thinking that it was too similar, similar to the paint that I used out in the main area so I just used the same wallpaper that I used on the outside but it ends up looking like a different color because the lighting on the inside is different than the lighting on the outside. I also used the sink that came with Get Together just to just a tie in with the fact that this is an older building. I didn't add in too many traditional pieces of furniture, but there are a few here and there throughout it, like the lights that I used throughout the main areas and also those mirrors from Get Together. And um, as I said before, I just think it all goes together really nicely. I was gonna stick a seat in there, but I just took it out because. It, I felt like it was cluttering it up too much a bit in the entrance there, and it just was, wasn't was really necessary anyway. So that's actually about it for the main area out here. So now I'm on to furnishing the little bathrooms. I just so showed the furnishing of one of the locker rooms because I did the exact same thing in both of them, so I figured there wasn't really much of a point in showing the furnishing of the other one because I was just, it was basically just me using the eyedropper tool and copying from one side to another. I finished the locker room, so now moving on to the gym. And this was another room that took me a while to figure out, because at first I was using this wallpaper that has the basin crown molding, but I felt like that was too fancy for the gym since I was planning on using the modern gym equipment that came with Spa Day, and I just felt like it wouldn't really go together that well, and uh, oh yeah, I randomly decided to add in the massage tables to the massage rooms for some reason. I think I just saw them and decided to stick them over there so I wouldn't forget. But yeah, I just stuck some treadmills in front of those mirrors here, and I used the Move Objects cheat and tapped 9 to raise the mirrors up so it looked like they covered the whole wall. And in case you don't know what the Move Objects cheat is, uh, you just open up the cheat console by typing Shift, Control, and C at the same time. And then you type in bb.moveobjects and it'll just let you move objects wherever you want, intersect them and all of that. I just wanted to mention that because I do occasionally get questions about cheats. But at this point I did figure out the whole wallpaper situation. So I did use one of the panelings that came with Spa Day in a light blue color and I thought that worked really well for the look that I wanted for this room because it does look more modern than the wallpaper I had originally tried out but it doesn't look as modern as it would if I were to try to use a stone wallpaper that came with Spa Day and I don't think I used the oh no never mind I used the stone wallpaper in one of the rooms upstairs and then I was trying to figure out where to fit the weightlifting equipment so I thought it'd be cool to have it back to back in in the center of the room and then to just have the punching bag off to the side so I could have both in there. I actually used a lot of white furniture in this build, which I don't normally do because especially with wood objects, I tend to go for black woods rather than white woods. And the reason for that is that in this game, in particular, I don't really like how white woods look for a lot of the furnishing. And it has to do with the weirdness of the lighting at times because I've noticed that if you have like two white objects near each other, depending on the lighting, like one might be yellow and then might one might be actually white, but they're next to each other. So it's just because of annoying things like that with the lighting that I tend to go for darker furnishings versus lighter furnishings. So that's actually it for the gym, so now moving on to the couple's massage room. And I was going for this cheesy red theme at first with the red wallpaper, but I, I didn't really like how the darker colors looked in there. I just, I just felt like a brighter look might be better, so I just used this light blue wood paneling. I did add in the heart wall decoration that came with Outdoor Retreat. So there is a bit of cheesiness in this room. I put it where I have the logo decoration now, and I just stuck the logo decoration over on the other side. Oh, there we go, there's the heart decoration. I may have gone a bit overboard with the logo decorations because I did put them in almost every room of the spa, but that's because I there weren't a lot of items I felt really fit in with the look I wanted for this place. 
I'm not sure if real spas have logo type stuff all over the place or not. I've actually never been to a spa before. Like I've thought about it, but I was looking at prices just just out of curiosity once and it's like a hundred dollars for an hour long massage and I'm a fairly frugal person so I feel like I would just be thinking about more important things I could have spent that money on. But I do get that it's good to relax and pamper yourself every so often. So maybe that's something I'll do someday. For now, I'll just live vicariously through my sims and send them here and watch them get massages. Anyway, we're almost done with the second massage room, which was the private one that just has the one table in it. I'm just finishing up with the colors and decorations and lighting and all that, and we're done with the first floor. So now it's on to the second one. I actually got really stuck on what to do with the whole main area that's at the top of the stairs because there's a lot of room and the space is like if I tried to wall it off into smaller rooms I just would have ended up with really really small rooms so I just really wasn't sure what to do with it at first I tried putting in a cafe and I did cut that out because I spent a while on it and just completely scrapped it so to save time I just left it out of the video but it just looked really out of place to have a cafe in there so what I ended up doing was just just moving away from that main area and working on all the other rooms up here and then coming back to it last so right now I'm working on the sauna rooms I just furnished both of them the exact same way to save some time and make them quicker to furnish I also pulled some stuff out of the spa room and put one of those logo things on each wall so no matter which side your sim is sitting on, they will see it. Uh, I just wasn't sure what else to do and I wanted something on both walls and yeah, and I, I couldn't really think of anything else I would work well on a sauna so I just stuck some of those in. But I'm almost finished. Actually, yeah, I'm finished with the sauna rooms now. So I did wall off the area at the end of the hall here because I felt like that hall area was too long so I thought it would be better to just make it its own separate space. And then I was going to make that room the hand and foot massage area but... I thought that it would be too cramped because you would have the sims giving the massages sitting right in front of the doors going outside. So I just um, left the room that I was originally going to have as the hand and foot massage area as that. Here I'm working on the mud bathroom which is actually one of my favorite rooms in the spa. I really liked how it turned out although at first I was unsure about this room and wasn't really sure of what to do with it but in the end it comes together really really nicely and I did use the bathroom, the um, pre-made bathroom that came with spa day as some inspiration so I ended up using the flooring and wallpaper that came with it and also the tub color I thought the candle floor like that I used there would also be a nice way to give some sense of separation between the two bathtubs. Although you can see right through it to what's going on in the other one. But I did stick a couple of these tables on either side of it and then just stuck some spa related objects on it. Uh, I thought that would be a nice bit of decoration in the middle there. So I stuck different things on each table so it wasn't the exact same thing on each side. So that's it for that, just getting a few more decorations in here, of course getting some towels hanging up. Some more spa logos in there, of course. I also thought it'd be handy to add a locker in there as well, like a locker they could use to change out of their robes for the end of the tub or something like that, although they don't actually do that, but that was just what I was thinking of when I stuck that there. I believe that's almost it for this room, just adding a few more things, uh, like a I added one of those posters onto that wall there and then lastly I added a light onto the wall near that bathtub so there'd be something on it. And now moving on to the room that has the hand and foot massage seats in it. This was another room where I got sort of stuck on what to do for the wall coverings. So at first I did have the paneling wallpaper in there but unlike some other rooms where I said that I thought the paint with the molding on it was too fancy and that the paneling was perfect. I feel like for this room the paneling wasn't fancy enough so I do eventually change it to the paint with the molding on it and that really made this whole room come together a lot more. I also got rid of the brick accent wall that I had in here because that just really didn't fit in either. I don't know why but for some reason it just seemed like the these massage chairs just needed to be in a fancier looking room. So that was a bit of the thought process that went on when I was doing this room and here's where I just changed all the walls to that paint. 
And you of course have another one of those logo decorations in this room and then another one on that wall because I wasn't sure what else to put over there. But I did at least just leave the wall that the door is on. It's only those wall lights. And I thought that this stool would be a really nice decoration for this room because I thought of it as like a stool that someone doing a massage would drag over and use. But now moving on to this little porch type room that's go that goes out to the decks here. It's not really a porch. I'm not sure what you would really call this room. It's pretty much just a sitting area. I actually forgot that there was that rug that I used in here in the game, but it actually has some pretty good coloring. So at least we got something a little bit different in this room. And this room is pretty simply furnished. Just some seating, a few bamboo plants, and then some wall lights. Or no, I didn't even keep, yeah, I didn't even keep the wall lights over there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that room. So after this, I finally moved on to figuring out what to do with this whole open area out here. I thought that that paneling would look better than the brick that I had, but it still didn't really go that well with the other wallpaper that I used. And I don't know if you've noticed this yet, but the railing on the staircase looks like it's gray, whereas the railing that's up on the second floor looks like it's white. And the railing on the stairs and the stairs themselves are actually white. But for whatever reason, thanks to Sims 4 lighting weirdness, the, st um, the stairs look a lot grayer than they're supposed to be. So that frustrated me a bit. It's not really that huge of a problem, but that whole staircase area would just look a lot nicer if everything was actually the color it was supposed to be. As you can see, I turned this side of the stairs into a seating area where your sims could just sit and hang out. Because I couldn't really think of anything better to do with this area. It took me a little while to figure out what kinds of decorations I wanted to add to this area. I tried out having the larger bamboo plants on either side, but they intersected the end tables a little bit, so I had to shove them really close to the couch, which didn't really look that good. Plus they also made this area look kind of like a jungle. So I tried out these ones, but they were a little bit too big. So then I ended up just using the smaller bamboo plants, which I was trying to avoid using because I have done that in some other parts of the spa so far. But it ended up working out pretty well for that spot. So I just kept it there and I'm almost finished with this area. Yeah, that's where I got rid of the paneling and just Ended up making the whole room just that wall paint. That's it for that part of the room. I did end up walling off the area that bumps out in the front, like what I did in the back of it, because I thought it would be better as its own room. So I just furnished that pretty much the same way I furnished the one in the back, except there aren't the lounge chairs, because this room was a bit smaller, so I wasn't able to fit that in. But yeah, same coloring and everything like that. And I was really unsure of what to do with this other area over here. Because I said before the whole cafe eating area thing didn't really work out. So what I ended up doing was just turning it into another yoga area. Which, it might seem kind of out of place, but... I guess it works for if you just want to have your sims practice yoga indoors. Or if all the yoga mats outside are taken up by a class or something like that. So I guess it is useful in a way. Honestly, I'm not completely happy with how this part of the room turned out, but a change that I made after uploading the build and doing the whole showcase part of it was I changed the color of the middle yoga mat to a more neutral one, and that really small change I think actually made a difference in how that part of the room looked, so that is something you can try if you want. Now moving on to the last part of this build, which is the hallway going towards the back of the building. I just stuck some ottomans as well as some robes hanging up outside of the mud bathroom. I didn't want to do the exact same thing on each side, so on the other side I just stuck a table with some stuff on it and then there is a plant in the corner. But we are almost at the end of the video, so I just want to mention that if you want to download this build, there will be a link in the description, as well as some other information on how to find it in-game. I'm going to leave off here, so I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
Thank you.